Why? Why do I do this to myself? So for those of you who are fans of Master Duel Masochist, oh boy, are you gonna love this one. Instead of taking the masochist approach, what if we made things infinitely worse? What if we just made everything random? And so that is what we're going to do today. So we're over here on YGO Pro deck because we actually need to randomize the deck that we're going to be playing with today. But before we even do that, we actually need to figure out how many cards our deck is going to contain. So we're gonna pick a random number between 40 and 60. And thankfully we are gonna be playing with a 42 card deck. So back over here on YGO Pro Deck, there's this nifty little feature where it just gives you a random card. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to have the website generate us 42 random cards for our main deck, and that's what we're gonna run with. Do I think this is going to play out well? Absolutely not. All right, random card number one. I will say if we get stuff for the extra deck, we're just gonna only load up on cards in the extra deck until we hit the 42 card main deck. Otherwise we might be here for a while. So card number one, what's it gonna be? Dark energy, fantastic. Well, hopefully we have a fiend based deck to work with here. Next up, Ruddy Rose Witch. Uh, at least this is a monster. I don't really want it. It's a tuner as well, so you know that it could be worse. World Soul Carbon. I don't think I've ever seen this card in my life. What the fuck set is this from? Lightning Overdrive? This is a super? Oh my god. I also just realized this thing has zero attack and defense, so like this is basically useless to us. Obelisk! <laughs> If we can actually summon this with this deck, I will be amazed. Musical Sumo Dice Games. This may actually, sadly enough, be our win condition, so hopefully we get two level six monsters we can make with this. Magical Musketeer Calamity is at least a 1500 normal summon, so I'll take it. Dream Mirror Hypnagogia. Ancient brain. Hey, it's a fiend. We can use dark energy with it. Oh shit, the combos. Lady Panther, again, is at least a normal summonable monster. This is looking better than my first masochist deck. I've got to say. Another extra deck monster we are never going to summon. Solemn Authority, probably the worst solemn card in existence. Lang Ling. You know what? If it's a normal summonable monster with reasonable attack, I'll take it. Dark Diviner. It needs a Dark Tuner and a Non-Tuner Insect. I don't even know if we are going to get either of those. Royal Surrender. I guess we have a way to deal with continuous trap cards if our opponent's playing like Call of the Haunted. <laughs> BLS Soldier of Chaos is pretty sick. If only we actually have like a way to summon it, but you know, it's a payoff. Battle Scarred is absolutely useless to us. Ab Zero is insane if we somehow pull Miracle Fusion. Fulgo might actually be summonable, considering we'll probably be playing a deck of all different types. Cyber's Magician is a ritual monster that we will have zero chance of summoning. Uh, I don't even think this card is legal yet, so I think we have to skip this one. <laughs> I think this card is in the OCG. Okay, I feel like it took forever to get another main deck card, but Dark Corridor, and it's one that we probably can't play. You know, I'm kind of impressed. I think we're gonna fill up the extra deck before we fill up the main deck. Photon Trident, that would require us to have Photon Monsters, so fingers crossed, I guess. Vision Fusion. Wait, summon a Hero Fusion from your extra deck. Wait, we can actually summon Ab Zero with this? <laughs> All we need now is a hero monster and water monsters, and we're actually like able to summon something. That's insane. Electromagnetic Turtle's not bad. That card's pretty good. Ignite Veteran, funny enough, is a level six, so we're half of the way there to the sumo dice games. I can't believe we pulled a Dark World card with the Dark World spell. And this is like a good one too. Like, are you serious? <laughs> Oh my God, there's a water. We pulled a, I mean, it's not like super unlikely. There's six attributes, but it's 1800 attack. If we just pull a hero, we might be able to summon Ab Zero with this deck. That's insane. Never seen that card in my life. Desert Sunlight is shockingly maybe a playable card. Awakening of the Possessed is actually somewhat relevant. Monsters you control gain 300 attack for each different attribute you control. That by itself is actually a playable card. What the f what the fuck? Are we actually like getting a buildable deck? Well, apparently I spoke too soon because our next card is Gaga Ga Back. 
ultimate conductor tyranno do we have dinosaurs i have to go back and check that oh my god some of the payoffs we're getting in this deck are fucking crazy astra ghouls man some of these new Yu-Gi-Oh cards are whack mecha dog marion is like not terrible raider's knight might actually be summonable alchemist of black spells hey we can we can play it good enough for me boot staggered sayori <laughs> Oh my god, what is this deck? Tuner Scheme. You know, if we end up playing a synchro-based deck, this, this card might actually be insane. <laughs> Ghost Trick Yeti's a 2k wall. Okay, we'll take it. Chain Summoning's probably never happening, but you never know. Silent Swords in level 3, one of my favorite cards ever. You know, it's playable. We'll take it. Karibo! <laughs> We have to be really close to filling up the extra deck with Eldlich the Mad Golden Lord. We have pulled a lot of extra deck monsters. Dark Triceratops is a surprisingly playable tribute summon. Conversely, this card is not. Gravekeeper's Inscription is also playable. Super Heavy Samurai Transporter. Speed Burst Dragon. Another decent tribute summon, not gonna lie. Flamvel Archer. Terrible deal. Oh, that, that should just be the name of this episode. Amazonist Willpower is actually like surprisingly good, but I don't think we have any Amazonist cards. Element Saber Aina. Vampire Vivoide? Voivode? How the hell do you pronounce that? Destiny Signal. Oh my God, please give us a Destiny Hero because now that we have Destiny Signal, we have this little mini engine for Ab Zero. Please. Hunter Dragon is playable. That's 1700. No, I should have been more specific. I wanted a main deck hero, not an extra deck one. Core transport unit is literally the worst card imaginable. Beast fangs. Oh my God. Do we even have any beasts? How did we get two of the LOB equip spells? That's like, that just seems so unlikely. Holy shit. Special hurricane is insane. This might be the only removal card we have, but this is modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Everything special summons. <laughs> All right, I gotta be honest, I sort of lost count. I think we might be at 42 cards. I'm gonna do a few more just in case so I don't have to come back here. Giant turtle who feeds on flames. At least it's a water for ab zero if we still need it. But this guy's always freaked me out. Remove trap, fantastic. I'm, I'm, we'll definitely need that. Venom boa. Scramble, scramble. Radiant Jural. Evil Zartarius? That's not like a terrible card. Zombina's actually insane. Unfortunately, we might be past the point where this goes into our deck, but let's stop here and see what we're looking at. Well, here we are with the deck. We built it out. I cheated a little bit. There was one card in the main deck that was an ultra rare that was actually just unplayable. So I decided not to craft it to preserve my UR gems, <laughs> honestly. Like I made a Fulgo and a BLS because I feel like these cards could conceivably come up and they're kind of good cards. So you know what? I don't really mind having them, but everything else, even the Awakening of the Possessed as well as Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, we, end up, we ended up crafting it. And uh, here we are. I, I feel like Honestly, I think my Masochist deck for the first few episodes was probably worse than this. We have a lot of monsters that we can just summon. We have some like... Uh, I actually know all of our spell and traps kind of... This is the only good spell I think we actually have in our deck. Everything else is just terrible. If our opponent synchro summons, this might be what actually wins us a game, but let's see if we can win a game. That's our objective. I don't think we're going to win a game, but you know... It never hurts to try. All right. We haven't played on this account in so long that we are down in the rookie ranks, but that could be a good thing for us because that means this might actually be doable. Looking at this hand though, not looking too hot. Uh, funny enough, we can actually special summon this. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it's good necessarily. Maybe I just wait. Can we just pass? I don't want to like throw guys out and they just kind of die. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We're, we're going to set the dark energy. I should have gone second now that I think about it. Our opponent only has five cards in their extra deck, so there could be a chance. Okay. Th this is like the type of opponent we need. All right, so here's, here's something interesting we can do. So I'm going to special summon out the super heavy samurai guy. 
And then we're gonna normal summon Flamvel Archer. And then if we activate Awakening of the Possessed, this gives our guys this huge buff. Okay, we're gaming. Okay, we're gaming. Now, if they summon that blue eyes, we're, we're dead. Straight up. But you know what? If they can never actually summon the blue eyes, we might be okay. Please just don't summon blue eyes. Please just don't summon blue eyes. Please. Oh my God. If I know this deck well enough and from playing Matt... Well, we tried. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. I know that the set is a Kid Moto Dragon, and I really don't want to attack into it. I'm gonna regret this, but let's do it. Oh! Maybe they don't have Kid Moto Dragon. Okay, hold up. Oh no, alternative. I can't beat this car. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, they just had... They were just sitting on these guys. I can't beat this. I guess I'll look at my draw, but I don't think it's going to do much good. I actually feel like we had a good start. That's literally the worst card it could have been. All right. Next game. This isn't bad. All these things are different attributes too, aren't they? All three of them are. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Okay, set one. I like it. Oh my God, if we could summon Obelisk, this would be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> okay, I'm not feeling optimistic. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring out the Leng Ling. We're gonna activate our continuous spell that buffs it by three. And we're just going to get in for 18. And we're just going to pass. We're going to keep it nice and simple. If they're going to regeki that, I'm cool with it. Pass again. You know, maybe there's a chance. Okay, that's not the chance I was hoping for. I don't want to send Gishki Chain. I think I just want to go for the Flambell Archer. It's a little bit less damage. But I want to save Chain to hit over something larger. In case they summon something that has like, you know, 1900 attack, let's say. Then we at least get a plus. Okay. They drew into Rhoda. Unless they've been sitting on it this whole time. Which I doubt. It's the Photon deck. Okay. And they're just passing. That's another monster. All right. The problem is the Photon Jumper can just end the battle phase. I also kind of want to force them to use the Photon Jumper. So I think I'm actually going to put a bit more pressure here. That's fine. We also get one step closer to Obelisk, every monster we put on the board. This also gives us another attribute, so if we summon Chain, our Gishki Chain is 2,700 attack. This is not good. All right, well... Unfortunately, now they're doing things. God, was their hand just, like, bricked on all this garbage? Oh, it really was. They had double Photon Stream and Galaxy Expedition? It sucks. Don't know how we out that.
They don't get their battle phase because of the jumper. Literally the worst card in my deck. I mean, if I play anything, they're just gonna... Use the Cypher Blade to pop it. So close. Oh, now their battle phases skip because they never went to it. I've never made that mistake before. That actually lets us survive a turn. I don't know what we're waiting for, but you know what? We'll uh, we'll try to hold out. Is there anything in this deck that can out this? Oh, they keep putting their life points so low. Alright, we got the Cypher Blade to waste all of its materials. It's three attacks on monsters. So we actually have another turn, potentially. Okay, I don't know what we can draw. Man, if they just had, like, one of their small guys with zero attack, that would have been great. I think we just set this. I mean, I can electromagnetic turtle this, but I don't know if it's going to get us anywhere. <laughs> Wait, this has zero attack. Hold up. Uh, yes, we're going to negate the battle phase or end the battle phase. Oh, they didn't read. Hold up. There's a chance. That does nothing. No. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> We're so close. Damn it. Oh, man. And looking at the next three draws, it's not getting much better. It's funny if this Dark Triceratops was on top, this could have actually been a lot better. Unfortunately, it's not going to matter. We can get the damage in here, I think, right? We were so close. We were so close. Unfortunately, I think we're dead here now. 1100! <laughs> oh my god, this thing, if it stayed on the field, we could have pierced over it. We needed another electromagnetic turtle. We can't survive this. Yeah, this thing could just clean up. We can only Karibo one attack. Oh, so close. So close. Well, ideally, we're playing against some sort of synchro deck, because then we could just tuner scheme something. That'd be fun. 60 card main deck. Holy crap. Okay. Looks like we're going with a set three pass. I honestly think I just go in. I don't think we're getting any chance, so we're just going in. It's 
Blackwing. Blackwing Synchros. Wait, hold up. This might be our chance. I don't know if I want to use this Gravekeeper's Inscription. I think I want to hold on to that. I think the plan is to hope they Synchro Summon. We Tuner Scheme steal it? And then that's our win condition? Is this going to chain block Tuner Scheme? Because it's being summoned as Chain Link 2? Oh my god, did they just chain block me? Okay, that's a tuner. Maybe they're going to go for the big guy. Best case scenario. Oh, please. Please. Please! Isn't this thing immune to everything? It's unaffected by other card effects! No! It's not gonna work, but I just want to do it anyway. <laughs> Come on, man! Why couldn't you have made the one that is immune or isn't immune to card effects? I guess I should have waited till they summon this, but I can't kill this anyway. Oh my god. I can't. This thing's immune to everything! It's not fair. The one. What are the chances I actually played against a deck where this would actually resolve? That's so useless. I, I'm, I'm dead. Fucking full armor master. Come on. Okay. We got the tuner scheme again. Now, are we going to be playing against a synchro deck is the question. God, if we had a hero, we could actually summon ab zero. We have the water. That's so sad. Oh my God. I don't know if I can beat this guy. Well, I'm pretty sure this isn't a synchro deck, so uh, not looking too great for us. Why is everything in this game at 3,000 attack? <laughs> There's no shot. I can just wall up and hope I don't die. I don't think I can out this. Yeah, I'm, I can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. I can beat set one pass. Uh, actually, I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, okay. I can wall that off. I can't kill it. That's definitely not going to kill it. All right. I want to get this in the graveyard now. I'm also just going to hope they waste some card on that back row. Because that card doesn't do anything. Okay. That's really good for us. Back row. I mean, it's fine either way. That card was just going to sit there, but I'll take it. Okay. They had that last turn and chose not to use it. Okay, that's bigger. I can still wall that off. Uh, I can kill that. So maybe we go Lady Panther attack 
the small thing. And then even if Beckon takes us out, that's fine. Because then the Yeti walls. I think that's the move. Okay, we're on the board. I think we just pass. This thing goes up to 2k when it attacks. Okay, so Ghost Trick Yeti can still wall this off. Oh, they're linking. Or overlaying. How? This is going to seem whack. I'm actually going to Electromagnetic Turtle this. I can tribute set Ignite Veteran and Kachi Kochi Dragon can't clear it. If I don't do that, this is just going to walk over me. So I think I need to do that to hold off a bit. I never thought I would be tribute setting Ignite Veteran. But here we are. You've got to be shitting me. I can't even be mad. Like, what What did I expect? Oh, my God. Do I have Cybers monsters in this deck? I don't even think I play anything. It's just, like, actively bad for me to do so. The Kachi Kochi can just attack again anyway. So I may as well just preserve my cards for some reason. This card could actually deal with the Kachi Kochi if I have a Cybers monster somewhere in my deck that isn't this fucking ritual monster. This game seems so winnable. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> it's so bad. <sighs> I guess I'm still not dead technically. Okay, now I'm gonna set this. They need to draw another monster. And there's another monster. Oh, uh, let's see how they attack. Oh wait, this thing's just gonna buff it, isn't it? Oh no, it's face-up monster. Hold up. Okay. I don't know how we out that, but we're not dead. <laughs> I take back what I said. Go, Karibo, protect me. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Oh, so... I don't even want to say it was close, but if we just had, like, a way to out a guy, we could have actually maybe won. What is this hand? Okay. We can actually kill that somehow. <laughs> yes, my Lady Panther draws out the maxi. <laughs> and apparently it draws out Mirror Force. All right, you got it. <laughs> oh my, that is the highest value Lady Panther I have ever seen in the history of my 25 years playing this game. Baited Maxi and baited Mirror Force. Oh my God, did they just draw the blue eyes? Or the card that they needed? I can't beat blue eyes. 
I'm not even gonna waste my time. I, ca I can't beat Blue Eyes. Oh my God. Okay. All right. This looks playable. We got the best card in our deck right here. We have a big guy. Okay. All right. I like where this is going. More monsters. High statted, normal summonable mon... Well, that's high statted, all right. I think I just have to get in. I just got bottomless. What fucking year is it that I just got bottomless? I just got bottomless in 2024. Like, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> Maybe I should be setting all my monsters. Maybe that's the trick. This card only buffs attack. Yeah, that's annoying. Monster. Give me a monster. Oh my god. May as well set it. Maybe it'll bait something. Well, that thing is 1,200. I could have attacked with that. I thought this thing had 0-0. Zero, zero. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I am incredibly close to summoning Obelisk the Tormentor. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just incredibly... You know what? Fuck it. We're all in. If they're gonna let us do this, I'm going for it. End. Pass. Pass. Just pass your turn. You're not doing anything. Nothing's happening. There's nothing suspicious here. Pay no mind to the fact that I have three monsters on the field. That, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I, I cannot believe we're here. I cannot believe all right, we're going to fire this first. I want to see if this baits anything. I cannot believe that I get to tribute summon Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> I, I have no words. I'm probably going to have this card die immediately. But you know what? If we can ride it to victory, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> oh, come on, I can't beat that. Oh my God. Where was, oh my God, if I had this just one turn earlier, no. I can't attack. That's so sad. My obelisk has been stopped by the swords of revealing light. There's no way I'm going to last this long. There's no way I'm going to last three turns. Although, to be fair, it can't be targeted by card effects, and maybe that's really annoying to deal with. Okay. I am just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing cards. You know, funny enough, having obelisk on the field is a seventh attribute for awakening of the possessed. Talk about the random synergy. <laughs> Wait, they had shield crush set this entire time? And they didn't blow up my three monsters before? This is hilarious because they take a thousand from that. This is the last turn on swords. That card is literally useless. Uh. Swords expires? Okay, Obelisk is free from the Prison of Light. They have so many cards in hand. They have so many cards in hand. I, I don't know if they have an out. Okay, they're setting. Funny enough, if they have a continuous trap, I actually have a counter for it. I don't know, like, what that would be. I'm going for it. Like, I don't have a choice. I can't. 
can't believe it worked. Are we gonna win? Is Obelisk gonna fucking carry us? There's no way. This is their last turn. They better have something insane. In okay, they have a thing to wall up with at least, but. Big monster. That's a huge monster. Okay. I think we, I, I think I go for it. That thing better have a gigantic defense. You know what? That's fine. I still get to resolve this Gishki chain, which is kind of cool. Uh, all three of these cards suck. I don't think they're synchro summoning. I guess I take inscription? Sure. We'll stack them in that order. All right. Well, it's white stone. Man, I could have summoned Silent Swordsman. That actually, that still would have been bottomless though because Possessed would have put it up to 1600, which is still within bottomless range, unfortunately. Oh my God. All right, they, they have to start setting, otherwise they're dead. Come on, man. Also, why? I want to make them discard a card, but... Man, that sucks. My obelisk has fallen! How could this have happened? <laughs> they still don't have monsters? They pitch Dark Magician. Now, the problem is I know my next three draws are not monsters, which is terrible. I have to try to get in with Silent Swordsman, but it actually goes under bottomless now that I don't have Obelisk on the field anymore. The problem is it's going to take three turns to win the game. Funny enough, that doesn't change my clock at all. Part of me's wondering if it's worth activating Gravekeeper's Inscription so that way they can't, like, resurrect, like, their Dark Magician or some stupid card through some means. Maybe I wait till it's the next turn. Let me... Let's pass here. I don't know what's in their hand. They weren't setting anything? They just keep setting? They have all the removal in the world, apparently. And this sucks. I know my next few draws aren't monsters. I think I said it. I almost want to activate Terrible Deal just to get, like, a zone cleared. Are they actually going to Synchro Summon? Man, I should have led that Silent Swordsman first. Heart of the Underdog. I am just going to activate this just to get a zone cleared. What the hell is that? All right, that card wasn't doing anything. Okay, I know this is a spell. Yeah, it's that terrible spell. All right, so we just pass here. I just need... I have, I think, another 1,800 still in the deck. I think I have a couple, actually. I have a couple sizable monsters. They whiffed hard to the underdog, so they didn't draw a normal monster. Please be a monster. Please be a monster. Please be a monster. Please be... It's not a monster. Fuck. It's have to pass. I want to save Inscription for when I summon a monster, and then I think I might be able to game them next turn. Because then maybe they think, oh, I can just let this go. I can resurrect, like, a thing, and then we win. The, like, they, they sort of take control. They haven't done anything, though. So, I don't know. Whiff Tart of the Underdog twice. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Inscription wouldn't have stopped this. They drew fucking Chaos Max. 
I can't believe it. If I would have drawn a monster within the past, like, seven draws, I swear to God, if the top, if my next card's a monster, I'm going to be fucking livid. Oh my God, you got to be fucking kidding me. Where were you? Maybe they'll get greedy. Maybe they'll get greedy and summon a monster and somehow we were able to walk with this. I... I'm so mad. I cannot believe that. If we would have had that guy two turns ago, we would have won this. Whiffed on Heart of the Underdog for the third turn in a row, by the way. This guy's too big. Can end the battle phase, but that's about it. <laughs> Good old Ignite Veteran. Right on time. We were just not meant to win this one, were we? That is that is soul crushing. That we summoned Obelisk! How could we have lost the game? Oh my god. I'm so angry. I couldn't win a game in rookie. I couldn't win one game in rook. We summoned Obelisk and we still couldn't win a game in rookie. Oh my God. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.